What's up guys? Welcome back to Montillaverse. Let's start off 2024 the right way. And that is with discussing the big news. So the lights flickering, you know, make, just make this video interesting this time around. Um, with the lights flickering. Anyways, The Rock returned. And he called out Roman Reigns. That's all you need to know. That's the big news. That's the big what. And here's the thing. There's a lot of people talking. There's a lot of people giving their different opinions. There's a lot of people giving their take on this. There's a lot of people that are happy that he's back. And there's a select few that are, you know, happy to see him, but don't necessarily want him in the title picture. Why don't they want him in the title picture? Cody Rhodes. He hasn't finished his story yet. Uh, you know, Randy Orton's back. Is it just going to get cast aside? You know, what about the LA Knight fans and LA Knight? Are they just going to get tossed on the back burner? Um, is AJ Styles even going to even come close about... You know, because you already had Orton and LA Knight to deal with. That's that's enough on its own. But now to add, you know, the rock into the mix, it's like, geez. So there's there's been a couple rumors, a couple of sources. You know, I'm sure you've seen them at this point on Instagram, you know, Twitter, Reddit, wherever you guys read your stuff. Um, the plan apparently is, it's not clear at the Royal Rumble, but I already said that it should be a fatal four way. It should be Roman taking on LA Knight, AJ Styles, and Randy Orton. That's the best way to do this. That way everybody gets a fair shake. Everybody, you know, is happy with it. All the fans are happy with it. So, and I think Roman obviously should win that match. Now, people have said that The Rock isn't even going to, you know, fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. They'd rather see it at the Elimination Chamber. And a lot of people, you know, are on board with that. And I could see the appeal because, look... It's not like the Elimination Chamber is being held in, you know, Quebec, Canada. No offense, great venue, great crowd. We saw how that Roman and Sammy match, you know, the, the, the part that the crowd played was integral in that. It was, it was electric. I mean, they stood in the middle of the ring for five minutes, did nothing, and the crowd just kept the energy going for five minutes. But... When you have The Rock versus Roman, you want the most people you can get into, into an arena. You want it to feel big. You know, as much as Canada has that energy in, Mon uh, in Quebec, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it doesn't feel big. You can tell it's a small venue with a lot of electricity. But look, this year it's being held in Sydney, Australia. 60,000 people are going to fit in that arena. So it's it's going to feel like a WrestleMania type event. Why not give The Rock, you know, his chance, get that story going at the Elimination Chamber. That way, Cody Rhodes can get his shot by winning the Rumble or by somehow, you know, getting a contract, whatever he's going to do to get to Roman Reigns so he can fight Roman at WrestleMania 40. And here's another thing. I can go with that. I really could. It's a good plan, it gives everybody a fair shot, and it's going to end Roman's title reign probably, again, on a high note. I see Roman's title reign really going into another level over the course of the next four months. It's going to be an electric ride, that I can tell you. The thing is, do we want The Rock to face Roman Reigns at the Elimination Chamber, or do we want, and this, again, is another thing where... It makes everybody happy because what if The Rock fights Roman on night one, Roman beats The Rock, and then he loses to Cody Rhodes on night two? Because, I mean, that's just going to solidify Roman Reigns as like one of the greatest of all time. In my opinion, he is the greatest of all time. But a lot of people, I don't know whether they're just hating or they just, I don't know. It's not their cup of tea, but the fact of the matter is, it still bothers me today that a lot of people don't appreciate this reign. If he puts on stellar performances, back-to-back -back nights, and stellar matches, what else are you going to say? Like, he, 
In my opinion, as a champion, you don't need to be there every single week if there's no competition. See, now going into 2024, Roman Reigns has no excuse not to be there at least twice or three times a month. Because he's got Randy Orton there. He's got AJ Styles. He's got LA Knight. He's got The Rock now to deal with. You know, there's there's a lot of people either coming back or going up through the ranks that would be an interesting match for Roman. There's a lot of things going on. So now there's reason for him to be there. But for the majority of 2023, after Cody Rhodes, there was really nobody to take him on. And that's just facts. So... Is the Bloodline story running a little bit long and boring? Yes. I don't think even I don't think Roman even needs the Bloodline, but they're there. And Jimmy is funny at times, so I'm happy to, you know, deal with that. But honestly, like, we don't need The Rock anymore. That's the thing about this whole shebang. WrestleMania 39, Rock versus Roman Reigns, that would have been great. It's something that we needed at the time. It's something that people really wanted to see. And people still want to see it to this day, but we no longer need it. We got Cody Rhodes. We got Randy Orton. We got AJ Styles, you know? We got all these superstars climbing up the ranks, Raw or SmackDown. CM Punk is back, you know? He could just totally turn around and be like, you know what? I don't want to deal with Seth, you know, loud mouth, as much of a dream match as that is. I'll get him next year. Why don't I go after Roman this year? Is it going to happen? Probably not, but the possibility is there. So there's a lot of superstars now coming back or, you know, going up the ranks through NXT, showing up on Raw or SmackDown that are ready and are hungry for this title picture. We don't need The Rock, but we want The Rock. You know, like, it, there's a big difference, and this is across the board in any aspect of life. Take it. I mean, seriously, like, there's a big difference, and everybody knows what I'm talking about, between wanting something and needing something. People want to go to Starbucks, but the reality is they're going to make their coffee at home. They don't need it, but it'd be nice to have. You don't need that, you know, PS5 Slim if you already have a PS5. What's the point? It doesn't make much sense, but people still want it. That's what we've got here now. So look, I think this match should happen. I think it should still happen. There's a there's a lot to unpack. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be done unless they start doing shit now. But it's 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 a it's a serious issue because you want the story to be great between Rock and Roman, but at the same time, you don't want to throw AJ, Randy, Ellie Knight on the back burner as if they never mattered in the first place. So WWE is in a pickle, but it's a pickle they'd like to be in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if The Rock's going to show up next week. I don't know if he's going to show up on Friday. I don't know if he's going to show up, you know, February 2nd or whatever the first SmackDown is or whatever. But he just threw a shot at Roman. My, my, my thought is, and it's pretty clear, that he's not just here to talk smack. He's here to fight. He's here to come after the head of the table. He's here to fight Roman Reigns. That's what he's here for. He's not here to just, you know, do his little shtick and everything. He's here because he wants a match. And honestly, I think if The Rock would have gone against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, it would have blew the roof off the place. And Cody could have gotten his shot and been a one and done like everybody would have liked at WrestleMania 40. But, you know, they decided to switch it up for whatever reason. And this is where we are now. So, my opinion... Bottom line, Roman should fight in a fatal four-way at the Royal Rumble. He should win that match. Elimination Chamber comes. Look, and as far as I know, he hasn't even been, like, promoted for it. I remember promotions back in December and November. There wasn't much talk about him being at Elimination Chamber, but if he went and faced the Rock at the Elimination Chamber, that would be electric. It's an international stage. You know, people are going to tune in. It's going to be freaking awesome. The only thing is, I don't know what time in the day that's going to be. That's the big thing that, that they have to think about business-wise. Because people got school, they got work, or they're asleep. Wouldn't it be better to just go on USA time for a match like that? But I guess other countries deal with it, so the United States can too. And then he should fight Roman at WrestleMania. 
that being Cody fighting Roman at WrestleMania. Like, as much as I would like to have Roman against The Rock and Cody back-to-back nights, there won't be time for Roman to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? There won't be that, like, oh, my God, he beat The Rock. He won't even have... you. People won't even have time to take that in if he fights Cody the next day. It's just... Moment-wise, I don't think that's the best plan, but... It's a it's a it's a nitpick really, but I really do I, I I would really like for Roman to celebrate his run over The Rock. I feel like it deserves to be celebrated. I feel like we should all take a pause and acknowledge that great match and the result of it. Not just oh he won, holy crap. Next night comes he loses the belts. It's just it's just I don't know, it just bothers me at some point. I just I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want to see from Roman Reigns over the course of the next four months? Should he fight, you know, the Rock at Elimination Chamber and just leave Cody for WrestleMania? Or should he go back-to-back nights at WrestleMania? You guys tell me. But honestly, as soon as Roman gets done with the Fatal 4-Way, the Rock to jump in, start that story off, and, you know, make the best of it as they can. So... That would be great. That being said, though, if they wait to WrestleMania, Roman can, you know, switch back and forth between stories. So, 